Hello, it's the story with the reading for the collective. It resonates throughout the rest. I hope that you're feeling great. I really appreciate you. Appreciate your positive energy. Let's see what's going on here for the collective. Six of Swords. Sticky. Very sticky energy. Hmm. King of Pentacles. Death reverse. Yeah, someone doesn't want someone to move on. Just trying to keep someone stuck, stagnant, in drama. There's a King of Pentacles that someone's trying to hold on to, or this King of Pentacles, someone's trying to, yeah, someone's trying to hold on to this King of Pentacles, or this King of Pentacles knows what someone's trying to do. Someone can't defend themselves. Someone doesn't want... Someone can't defend their actions because someone knows what they're up to or this King of Pentacles feels like someone's attacking someone that can't defend themselves. Or this is unjustifiable. Someone trying to keep someone stuck in a drama. You know, until somebody runs out of energy. Because the Rider weight depiction, there's a person on a boat with, and they're, they're getting out of the current to, towards smoother waters. So continually trying to keep someone in that, that water you know, it's like someone's arms will give out, you know, before they get to this, the calm waters. It's like someone's trying to wear someone out. Um, justice reverse. Something's very unfair. Yeah. Because someone, someone is moving forward. Someone has control over a situation regarding an injustice. Someone's moving forward anyway. Yeah, someone's reworking or rebuilding something. Someone's really thinking through how they put their, spent their time and energy. Someone's getting clarity regarding some sort of illusion or mania or lunacy. Someone's been doing a lot of thinking. Deep down, Seven of Swords, the Hanged Man. Deep down, someone there's someone is stuck because of a lie, or because someone stole something. Someone, or someone's cheating to keep someone stuck, or stealing something to keep someone stuck. It has to do with someone's passion for someone, someone's creativity, someone's essence, someone's spirit, someone's energy, someone's connection, someone's creativity, someone's spark. You know, somebody not, not, someone rejoining the world, someone not feeling left out, someone living their life to the fullest, being getting that, that feeling like something's correct, like something clicking into place, something that matches their energy, somebody very vibrant, someone feeling alive and um, experiencing all there is to offer, something that should happen naturally. Um, you know, there's like someone trying to trap someone or keep someone stuck so they can't, it's like trying to keep someone restrained in this feeling of like their life is passing them by. It's like somebody wants to witness, somebody wants to witness that. Somebody wants to experience the feeling of, of holding someone hostage or keeping someone back. Someone wants that feeling like they've, they, they want to have the feeling like they've 
blocked something that should be. They, they want some, they want to know that somebody is experiencing some sort of feeling like, like the world is passing them by and it's just not fair. It's not right. It's like unfinished and torturous, you know, a nightmare, you know, cause it's their life. There's no replacing it. It's the one experience and someone, that's what they want here. Someone's real evil. But someone's, but someone's, someone is thinking a lot about reworking something. What can be reworked? How can something be fixed that has been broken and, and lead to victory? Deep down, this is what's going on subconsciously regarding the situation that somebody is stuck in a lie or someone is trying to keep someone stuck because they're stealing something from them so they can have this feeling of satisfaction like... They've, they've held them back or they've had control over someone else's destiny or feeling of, of having arrived or bliss or it, it's an abomination. It's something, it, it's not supposed to turn out this way. It's like someone has this feeling like they want to block what God made or, you know, um, it would be like if you were on a team playing a game and you you trained and you you know helped the team get to the victory and you know to the the playoffs or whatever it is and 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 then all of a sudden your contribution it's like it disappears and you're not allowed in the stadium and you have to watch it all on television and, and all of a sudden you disappear and no one talks to you and there's no love and all of a sudden it's like as if your life is, is gone. It's it's just gone and, and it's not right and you don't get that that experience of, you know, jumping up and down with your teammates after ten years of, you know, being on the team and maybe you guys haven't one before you know and you were instrumental and you you put your whole heart and soul into it and your family and everybody but now there's no family nobody everybody believes some sort of lie about you and it's like you disappeared and you're you're watching it all go by that's that's the feeling of it that's what someone wants you to experience and they feel deep down like there's some type of victory here that you know, they feel like they locked you in the locker room you know threw away the key and they you know maybe this is someone that wanted to play the game instead of you obviously all metaphorical but they feel like you're in the locker room and that you you know you dug a hole <laughs> You dug a hole, you used um, your your pleats, or you used, you know, you took a piece off of your helmet and you very slowly created a, a hole in the wall to, to get outside and you've been building something, you know, you, you built a, a tunnel to get yourself, you know, out, but you're doing it secretly because you know that there's people outside the door, you know, that's just the metaphor. But that's, it's like someone really has done everything they can to keep someone stuck here. And it's because they thrive on drama, they thrive on negativity, they thrive on pain, they thrive on chaos. Um, it's an injustice here. Um, and... For one, this game, it's meant to be you you having that celebratory feeling, you having the warmth, the love, the the evening out of a situation. It's it's meant to be because this is unbalanced justice reverse. 
and and you contributed to the win and it's like you got erased it's like you 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 were never there um but that's what this person wanted to do by either spreading lies or stealing something from you here claiming something to be theirs uh, maybe yeah again maybe they wanted to replace you take something from you maybe they wanted the lifestyle that comes with being on you know a team like a winning team um, but they didn't they weren't there for all of the you know the practice and um, and but they feel deep down or someone here is reworking something to make this happen here ten of cups six of wands it's this you're not in the game so that you can you know be seen you're in the game because it's always been in you and maybe you have a you know little coaching league or you have something where you know after the this game you you have we're starting a, a program for for kids you know underserved youth or something like that with your knowledge and your money and being part of the winning team would have really helped helped you do that but so someone wanted to take away all of your resources ruin your reputation they wanted you not to be able to receive based on your skill, your talent, and all of your efforts. And they didn't want you to receive any love. So now, this Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands, that's what you were aiming for. or That's part of the, the feeling. It isn't just money or accolades. Although there is Six of Wands here. This is being seen and celebrated. And there is a Ten of Cups here. This has to do with unconditional love. Um, ha happily ever after. This is being around people that love you for who you are and you loving people for who they are and just good functional relationships um, that are, are positive and aren't this toxic crazy stuff. So and there's, that's what's bothering somebody in their subconscious that you're not rejected, that you're not stuck in some sort of locker room, trapped by by lies and, and drama, and that you're, um, you know, they did what they did. You know, they did what they did. You did experience something here, but um, they feel like all that time you were in the locker room, you were thinking you're thinking about what you still have. You still have everything you learned, everything you know. Uh, maybe you're not in shape for the next game. Or maybe you are. Maybe you were working out in there. But the other thing is, is that all of that time alone, you were able to increase your skills and think through what someone tried to tear down what's still standing because you built the tunnel to get out they just don't know what's what's going on or they see fragments of it but they don't know and they know they have to be careful because of what what they've done so that's the best analogy um for the situation um there's a king of cups energy here and a three of pentacles attached to the six of wands some type of um Celebratory, celebratory atmosphere. It's it. Someone's going to have to let go of something. So it's someone's been greedy. Someone, all they care about is power and money. Whoever this is, trying to, is you know, ostensibly you know, keep you in a locker room trap. You know, stop you from having that that feeling. It's like, because who knows what would have happened after that, and then after that, and then after that. It's like someone just trying to put the brakes on your your whole life and getting some kind of sick satisfaction out of, out of it. So this would be someone that maybe they made up lies, you know. Or, or who knows what, who knows what they've done. Because it's, it's an analogy, 
but they know they feel like there's some sort of forward movement here um, and um, six of wands in the recent past so this is a queen of swords reverse that's looking at you this is a queen of swords reverse that I feel like is the one who doesn't want you to have this achievement and to be seen and celebrated to for others to view you for your you know your accomplishments for you to share your skill your talent for you to feel good and for the people that are involved to feel good they don't want don't want that um they're looking at your wheel of fortune that's what drives this person crazy it's something that's meant to be um there's something about you um yeah, it's like trying to lock lock a star player in a in a in a room and make up a lie about what happened to them and feeling really satisfied. It's really twisted. It's really twisted. Queen of Swords Reverse. This is somebody who's um, mean spirited, cold, calculating, bitter, burdened. This person's burdened by your your fate maybe you know something whatever it is that you do in your life it's like it's felt like it's always meant to be or maybe you've done it since you were a child or you've just been really cultivating something for a long time um it's it's a part of you and it's like the universe it's always been meant to be it's always felt meant to be and it's not, it's never something that you didn't work for, but it's always been felt like something that's meant to be. And it feels like there's good fortune attached to it. Um, but in your mind, it's not just for you. So there's something about the six of wands that, that this person is burdened by the six of wands, this wheel of fortune, this queen of swords reverse feels like you're victorious. And that something that's meant to be or fated is still happening, even though they they took some sort of um, what's that movie? Um, I'm forgetting the name of it. It's when um, it's a really old movie. It's like in the the mountains, and I want to say that it's Jack Nicholson, and or somebody locks 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 a writer or locks a person in in like a cabin and there's like it's a it's a movie that just mostly two people um is it um kathy bates um it's this this is like kathy bates energy in that movie i'm gonna have to look it up and see what the name of it is um I think it's Kathy Bates. Misery. Yeah, American psychological thriller drama. It's based on Stephen King's novel. Um, it's, oh, it's got James Caan. Yeah, she holds him um, captive. She holds a writer captive. Um, it's got 91% Rotten Tomatoes, tomato meter. Um, After a serious car crash, novelist Paul Sheldon 
played by James Caan, is rescued by former nurse Annie Wilkes, Kathy Bates, who claims to be his biggest fan. Annie brings him to her remote cabin to recover, where her obsession takes a dark turn when she discovers Sheldon is killing off her favorite character from his novels. As Sheldon devises plans for escape, Annie grows increasingly controlling, even violent, as she forces the author to shape his writing to suit her twisted fantasies. So, <laughs> it's this Queen of Swords reverse has Kathy Bates in misery. Um, so we'll just say um, Annie Annie Wilkes, Annie Wilkes over here, is real upset that you're you know. You're, you're making your novel the way you want to make your novel, your narrative, that, you know, they, they can't change your narrative, that you're reworking something here the way that it was meant to be for you, not the way that they want it to be. Um, this is someone very critical. It's definitely giving Annie Wilkes, for sure. Annie Wilkes is taking a loss. Um... They're very imbalanced. Things are not flowing for them. Um, and it has to do with the King of Cups. Someone who... It's either the way a King of Cups views you, or King of Cups in your life. Um, this could be a mother figure, a copycat, a frenemy, um, a colleague. Knight of Cups, they're expecting someone to come towards you with this romantic energy and for you to be happy. And someone sees you as a wish come true. So there's something about this person trying to hide you away because of the, the way they see you. Because they feel like this something comes naturally for you and something's meant to be and they just can't stand watching you experience it. They want to stop it, which is sick and strange. It has something to do with this King of Cups. It's like they, if this is your mother, this is someone who's always felt like you had some sort of special quality in some area and they've been working against you. And if that's the case, you already know that. So this wouldn't be a surprise. This person doesn't want you to have a happy home and a functioning relationship. They don't want you to have, like, a domestic life. It's real weird. Whoever this is, if this is, like, a copycat or a frenemy, uh, it's someone who, when they look at you, they feel like um, you have something that's meant to be, that you, you'll be recognized for in some way. You know, really good at math or, um, you know, star player or, or um, he healing energy or, you know, starting a business from the ground up and, you know, the first in the family or something like that. Or this is someone who was a, a f colleague or a friend of me that didn't want to see you succeed and took a shot right in the moment where, you know, there was something here that they tried to tear down right when you're about to make your play or get in the game or something like that. It's, you know, Tanya Harding, you know, it's somebody here taking a shot right when they saw the moment to do it. They, they took it to block you. It's a Queen of Swords reverse. Um, I feel like they don't also want someone to help you or be on your side. I do feel like there's someone here who sees the injustice. I don't know if this person is trying to keep this masculine energy back or stuck in a drama. There's a King of Pentacles and a King of Cups involved here. Um, yeah, this person doesn't want something to end. They want to keep something going because they're sick. They thrive on, on chaos. and confusion. Near future. Wow, five of swords. So you've got someone here that is in 
um, you know, extreme bullying mode. This Five of Swords is defeat. So someone here in this person's mind has to be a winner and someone has to be the loser. Five of Swords, you know, it's strife, it's conflict. This can also mean defeat. So I need to clarify and find out what it is. And it's not your defeat. Um, strength reverse. This person's very much in their ego. Um, about this King of Cups energy. Um, and you not being out in the cold. So... It's, it's, it's crazy that this is actually really someone's energy and that it's, it's actually real. It's just that they tr truly don't want you to have a relationship and that, you know, they see something going your way and they want to stop it here. So that's what you have coming in the near future. This could be someone that dibble dabbles in lower vibrational spiritual activities. This could be somebody that wants to try to, you know, force their hand, force something to happen, um, stand in the way, cause arguments, um, create strife, cause confusion, cause conflict, uh, confuse people, create arguments, drag people's energy down. This is someone that wants to keep a drama going until someone gets exhausted and gives up and, you know, lets their life go by because they, they let go of the grip because somebody, it's one person here trying to control, you know, the entirety of the universe. Um, something is a lie. Someone is trying to steal something from you. And I did put up a reading about, um, it said you got this in the thumbnail. Um, so if you didn't see it and you're, you know, you're thinking about the fact that this cycle just seems like Groundhog's Day. Um, maybe take a look at that one when you have a chance because I think it could be very helpful. Um, you know, if you're feeling irritated and you haven't seen that, that video yet, maybe check it out. Um, yeah, somebody's in their ego and they don't want to stop whatever this is. They hate the idea of you being happy, and I feel like the more they do this, the more they're being seen. Um, the lens someone's looking through, Ace of Swords Reverse. They want, this Ace of Swords Reverse keeps coming out. It's a lie, it's a block, trying to block communication, trying to stop someone from seeing clearly, stop someone from getting a yes answer. This person could be to being told no, so now they want to ruin something for you. Ten of Swords. This person's in some type of a... Um, Ten of Swords energy over your Ten of Cups. So everything's falling apart. They feel defeated, ruined, some sort of painful ending for them to see you um, have this happily ever after, this joy, this happy family, this, you know, a cobbled together family, um, cobbled together soul tribe, um, whatever it is, it's, it's a happily ever after energy. It's you emanating this energy and then it being a match in your life. Somebody is really upset, um, over this four of wands. This is what they don't want, this celebration, this union, this happy home. It keeps repeating itself and it's just so crazy that it's real. Four of Wands, they don't want you to have a union. They don't want you to have a milestone. They don't want you to have the ribbon cutting. cutting. They don't want you to graduate. They don't want you to open a franchise. They don't want you to pay off your debt. They don't want you to get married. They don't want you to, um, you know, have business success, get business attention, you know, buy the home, whatever this is get your next degree, the, you, whatever it is, it's the thing that someone tried to block from happening that feels faded, something that you've worked towards, something that feels natural, and it also has to do with the connection between you, you and someone else. Um, they're in a tower over, they're literally in a tower over something that has nothing to do with them. 
they're in a tower and that's probably coming to light because they can't they can't control their emotions over it they're in a tower over, they're in a tower over your happiness I feel like this is the type of person that could try to create a drama. Um, this is a Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody that's very um, judgmental as well. This is someone that looks looks at people from a surface level, and and also you know what do people have? What you know? Um, very superficial, greedy energy. A Queen of Pentacles reverse. They could be also somebody that's competing with you. This could be someone that's competing with you on a business level. Or it's 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 really like somebody that wants to have what you have and feels entitled. This could be someone that has either been propped up by some sort of position um, that maybe they didn't earn. Um or, or if they earned it, it could be that you have a natural skill at something or they don't want to see you surpass them could be part of it. Um, definitely there's a money dynamic here. Money, power. It, yeah, it has to do with status. Career, profession, clothes belongings, net worth, achievements, resumes, partnerships. Yeah. Um, real critical, nasty lies I feel like have come from this person uh, about you. Um, in the environment, Five of Pentacles reverse. There's something about someone getting out of the cold here. Six of Cups. This has to do with unconditional love from the past. Someone, because of it, someone is taking some type of loss. This person is jealous, obsessed. Devil reverse. Two of Cups reverse. There's some type of like a breakup here. Or someone's obsessed with a couple or obsessed with two people or some sort of energy between two people. This has to do with marriage, tradition, religion, initiation, institutional support, the rules, belonging, belonging, society, the society structure, rules. And this person, Knight of Pentacles Reverse, they want reward without effort. They want the appearance. They want all the appearances and they don't want to put the work in. So if we go back to the analogy with the game, they want to take the football and they want to be the one to get the touchdown, even though, you know, maybe they studied football, but they never played football. Or they married someone that owns the team and now they want to play <laughs> you know whatever it is they want the reward without the effort they want to get rid of you and they they want to take whatever you have and they want to make sure no one sees you and that you don't get any reward that matches your actual destiny they don't want you to experience what's actually meant to be based on your effort, your skill, your talent, your heart, and the truth. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, the work you've put in. This is a Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, so they, they skipped steps. These are actual, this is mastering something you mastered something you put the actual effort in and this person nine of pentacles reverse is like a gold digger or an opportunist or someone who's just real entitled they want someone else to pay for them yeah, they want all the attention they want the money they want the reward they want this is just like just 
someone's not right. This is disturbed. Whoever this is is in a ten of swords. So you know this person's in a tower and a ten of swords that's focused on you because they're not getting their way and they they took some sort of I feel like elaborate they took made a, elaborate moves to get what they want at your expense and we that just no capabilities of looking within. They can't look within. This person can't look within. They can't see themselves. They can't, um, they, they don't grasp right from wrong. They can't grasp. I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, it, it's a bully. It's a, you know, it feels cold blooded, cold blooded. Um, you know, dark triad. Something's wrong with this person. Looking at your four of wands, and um, they're in a tower. A bully is in a tower. Um, I. This is this actually the second read today. The first one I put on Patreon, and it covered a little bit more of like the sort of esoteric thoughts about this whole thing. Um, but it's interesting because this is coming out twice. It's the second rendition of this of very similar energy that's coming up about this bully in a tower taking a loss. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Um, so I kind of put the more esoteric one on the Patreon. Um, but it's interesting that it's the same energy. So you're welcome to, you know watch that if you want um just kind of like asking questions why is why is this phenomenon happening in a collective why why is it happening the same for so many people I'm not saying that i have all the answers in the in the in the video but you can check it out i feel like it's a good discussion um so there's something about a group here and this Ten of Cups, this could be work. It's a happily ever after. This could be like a power couple or a couple that really loves each other. It's a perfect match. Or it's a, a business environment that's very happy. This is about happiness and joy and something you've earned and you being seen for what you, the effort you put in, the skill, your mastery. You having a celebration, you reaching a milestone, um, someone meeting you where you're at. You know, having company, having love, unconditional love, having a happy family, all normal. Uh, all normal. It's like this person, not only do they want to take from you, they wanted to be sure that you were watching it too. There's something about the fact they wanted you to have this feeling like it's an, this abomination, like you're watching some horror film, you know, that you're, you know it's wrong. And it's like they've they've taken something and you have to watch it from the sidelines. Um, that's their energy. That's their energy. Hopes and fears of whoever this is. And then we're going to also find out what the specifics are, what they're trying to do with this Five of Swords in the near future so that you can just be aware. Eight of Pentacles. They're worried about you putting the work in because this person thrives on distraction and, and exhaustion. Trying to create self-doubt, make you feel hopeless, and for you to let go of the reins and just get lost in the swirl of chaos. They don't want you to get out of the water. They want you to get fatigued by the, um, you know, whirlpool of chaos in the water. But I mean, you're a queen of cups. They could be afraid that people are going to see you and want to work with you, see you for who you are, your approach. You're very kind-hearted, you know, person who's mastered something. You work hard. Um, you pay attention to detail. There's someone's worried about you work working or someone putting in the work with you. So because this person thinks about like they know you're a queen of cups. That's the, the part that's so crazy about it. Um, they don't want other people to see you as a Queen of Cups because they feel like, you know, they lied about you. 
so much. Um, this person's a Queen of Swords reverse and a Queen of Pentacles reverse that has a problem with the Queen of Cups in the upright. So a feminine energy that is, by all accounts, very, very healthy. You know, everybody has their shadow side and their, their bad days, but your default is a Queen of Cups. You're very, you're compassionate, good-hearted, sweetheart. That's who you are. And they're worried about someone wanting to put the work in with you or you focusing in on work and it leading to this, this milestone, this wedding, this happy home, this union, a feeling of having arrived. Um, yeah, whatever it is, it matches your wheel here in the upright, something that's faded and meant to be good fortune, good karma. You co-creating with the universe. It's what it's the flow. And it's you you know it in your DNA. And and it's it's like a, you know, just this person trying to bully you. Um I don't know why all these old movies are coming up, but I just thought of Karate Kid. <laughs> Um, you know, the bad kid that wants to stop Karate Kid, um, I don't know, I'm thinking of so many movies, but, um, outcome, Eight of Wands, that's good, positive, po positive movement forward, good energy, messages, fast movement, falling in love, um, This could also be something happening online, or the, the, this Eight of Wands feels like always like fiber optics or radio waves or, you know, broadcast too. So, so with the Six of Wands here, it could have to do with something to do with that. You being seen in, in some type of way, um, you know, vocalizing or being seen, being seen on a platform or something like that as well. Um, Wow, we have a King of Swords reverse under the deck. So that's the first masculine energy that has pop, um, popped up in the reading. So this could be someone that has joined with this um, Queen of Swords reverse. So this could be a couple. Um, what are they trying to do in the near future, Five of Swords? They took a bad gamble. With some sort of lustful energy. <clears throat> it has to do with negotiations, agreements, consideration. Someone didn't want you to be discovered, doesn't want something to be discovered about you. Yeah, like I said, they try to lock you in the game the locker room. It's something to do with all this money. They don't want you to have all the money that comes with the hard work, that comes with the good character and the good time and everybody feeling like they're in the right place at the right time, everyone prospering around you. You know, the, the cereal box that comes with winning the game, they don't want you to have that. They're trying to manipulate that and they want the money it's like they're trying to siphon it out like you would squeeze a toothpaste tube. You know, like, trying to, like, force something out, you know, to go their way. But they want just the money part. And it's like they're trying to throw out the, um, you know, the whole form that comes with it, which is you and all the hard work and the shape of who makes you, you what makes you you and the essence of you and your place in the universe, your, your birthright, all of it. These people are after money and trying to take something from you in order to gain financially. But there is malice attached. Five of Swords in the near future. What are they trying to do? 
has something to do with an organization, maybe trying to organize themselves, organize people, or trying to use some some kind of something that you've established against you. Um, they're trying to change change up because they whatever they've done in the past, things have changed since then, so now they're trying to adapt so that they can still bully um, or so someone can't defend themselves. This could be them trying to get other people involved or them trying to infiltrate. Um, it's, it's a gamble. It's to stop you from acquiring something. Um, it has to do with someone not being able to defend themselves or stand up for themselves. This could be more um, gossip and lies. This could be trying to bully someone into staying if they feel if this is like a copycat that's trying to hold on to someone that's like a divine counterpart. Uh, maybe hold on to someone for their money. Yeah, something's all about money here. Um, or if this is like a business rival or both. Um, they're trying to use some type of an organization here. Um, how is this playing out for the collective that... Um, There's some sort of good news coming your way, and they, they can't manipulate you. Or because they can't manipulate someone, or people are seeing that they can't manipulate you, or they can't manipulate the situation. It has to do with the promise, someone making you a promise. Maybe a negotiation, this could have to do with business. Um, you, you're not in a disaster. Someone wanted you in a disaster, stuck in the locker room with no food to eat. Um, they're trying to create some sort of injury here. They're trying to block your fate, something that's faded, something that's flowing, something that is meant to be something that... Here's the absurdity of it. Here's another analogy. You have a farm and you're working the land and you're not thinking in terms of you're going to win a ribbon and the community is going to give you, you know, a community ribbon because you cultivated a piece of land that maybe was causing problems for the community. You're not thinking about that. You're thinking about the harvest and you've done a lot of work and there's rows here and you wake up one morning and this person has created all kinds of drama with maybe like the city council or something like that about um, some kind of like rule that you're breaking or but you're not and you wake up and you know someone's at your door uh, and now you have to deal with something that's not real and then they keep doing more of it so that you can't tend to the crops and it's all so um from your perspective this is the eight of pentacles this is you cultivating the crops and looking at your books and you know hiring and uh, mastering what you don't know and thinking about next year and the seasons and where you're going to sell to and how much your your farmer's market stand is and um you know your chickens and what your chickens need to feed you have a lot to do and you've maybe you studied agriculture or something like that there's no space for any of this, and it doesn't make any sense what this person is doing. That's how you feel. And you maybe you've been doing this all on your own here, and they don't want someone to come towards you to help you with this harvest.
they want to ruin your your potential to sell the things from your farm and they want to create issues bureaucratic issues they want to ruin your reputation so you can't sell at the stand um it's like trying to stop you mid-flow but you feel like you know i'm just a farmer i'm you know not just a farmer but this is my livelihood this is what i've been interested in since i was a child and you're not seeing maybe the money or the 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 ribbon you're going to get or someone really admiring you and thinking about you know some type of partnership romantic partnership that you see eye to eye with someone and this would be a beautiful life for two people or two families joining together or something like that so that's it's like you waking up in the morning and you're about to have your coffee and then here is this chaos and this person keeps doing the chaos over and over and over and over again so you give up on your farm and you've already built a farm that they destroyed. So now this is farm two, or maybe you did a f something else and now you've figured out that you, this is a skill you have. And maybe on your off time, you're rebuilding something here, seven of pentacles from the thing they destroyed before. So they don't, they're either, you know, trying to control somebody that has a lot of resources you're trying to control the bureaucracy, the power structure around something here, or who helps you, and they want you to see they want you to see it all fall apart and for you to get exhausted and frustrated and for people to believe lies. Um, they want to block something that's meant to be here with this harvest. Um, it has to do with somebody not seeing something correctly or someone being blind to you. Um, because of this Ace of Swords reverse. Tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse. Yeah, they don't want someone to care for you. There's something about a friendship group here that they could be trying to use. Um, whatever it is, is very unjust. They're trying to create a disaster on your farm. Um, they're trying to create an ending so that you quit. And, and it's something attached to etern this eternal love energy that they're sick over and someone helping you, you having, you having genuine, you know, kindness in your life. Someone is sick over it. Someone, um, someone doesn't want you to have Someone feels like they have some type of um, knowledge or ideas around your inner peace. So it's kind of like the farm brings you inner peace. You you work all day, and but it's satisfying. It's trying to bring trouble to your doorstep is what this is. So it's something about someone seeing that someone is not trapped and some, something to do with sweet love and someone here not being in a, in a daydream, someone not being confused. So they're trying to manipulate something here in a way that's very unjust. They're trying to block luck that's there already. It's something that's already happening. It's already natural. It's the next phase. It's the, the next steps. It's you being in the flow. It's, it has nothing to do with anything but you being in, in the right energy. You're in the right energy. Um, so... What does the collective need to know about this? It could be energy projection. It could be them trying to involve people in a bureaucratic way. Um, 
make you feel overwhelmed. It's to stop you from being optimistic and focusing and stop you from receiving help and for you to feel like you want to let go of the reins because it's all too much, which you're not going to do. Two faces. Stability, power to confront self in relationships, serenity, mental health. So I feel like that's you. That's you. That's where you're at. That's what I'm saying. It's the stability. It's your, you're on the farm. You're doing what, you know, you're, you're in your own lane. You're in your own lane. You're not, you're not playing small, but you're also in your own lane. You're focused on the details, on the plans, on the bigger picture, maybe buying the land across the, the driveway on the other side of, you know, the hill. Um, maybe it's a winery, like in the Nine of Pentacles. Skull, two faces, and these are all analogies. So we have two faces, skull, two faces, skull. Bad control. This is someone who is trying to control something, trying to control your stability, or trying to control someone because of stability. Anything about the timing? Wheel. Broken wheel. More than three months. So this person's, um, this is someone's, someone's plans beyond the holidays. But you know, of course, whenever you see this, if it resonates, then that it's for you. But from where we're at here, so November, December, January. So after, after the new year, um, this person's looking out over the horizon over the, the, the next three months, but also the outcome of the reading is over the next three months. So we've got this eight of wands, which seems like forward movement, things moving quickly. It's good energy. Um, so I need more detail here on what this person's planning. What's this person planning? It has to do with someone reading some sort of information. Someone's trying to block block love. Someone's trying to stop someone from helping you. It has to do with the masculine energy. So they feel like there's a Knight of Cups energy. They're trying to block fate. This has to do with religion, a religious leader. We do see the Hierophant out here, or how someone sees it's something to do with someone being alone um, and someone not helping someone. So this person could be, an, an example would be, um, If there's like, if say this is a married couple and this is like a religious family and they go to church a lot, this would be this person going to the leaders of the church or the church community to put pressure on this King of Cups to stay in some sort of drama because they want this person's money and they don't want them to leave because they feel like they're coming towards you. That's an example of someone trying to use an organization here to block something that is meant to be five of swords, trying to win at all costs. Um, they're trying to stop someone from helping you. So if it isn't somebody that um, is married to someone... It's some sort of trying to block the conversation or trying to have a conversation, it's something about communication or a letter or some, something to do with information or reading or someone not watching something. This is a jealous feminine energy. It has to do with prayer. It has something to do with prayer and God. 
some kind of gathering or party. It's definitely, it has to do with love. Um, still want some more information. What does this have to do with this Five of Swords in the near future? to do with you. Someone here could have brown eyes or hair. Someone could have brown eyes or hair. Um, someone's brother or sister could be involved. This could involve people you don't know. It's like they're trying to gather a group. It could have to do with an earth sign. They could be trying to come across as very religious. It has to do with someone traveling. Traveling to someone. With revenge tactics out to win at all costs. Someone is traveling to someone, this involve, could involve people you don't know, out to win at all costs. To create some type of breakup, or to block something here in the future. They're looking at har harmony and joy here. And, and they feel like every dream is coming true. This could involve some type of a text message, a court case, something could be a lie here, something about jail, potentially. There's a bunch of fake friends here, or someone's trying to trap someone, a bunch of fake friends. Someone's trying to create a breakup. They're trying to create a new problem. It's a very witchy group of people that are going along with someone they're not in their right mind. Someone's trying to stop you from leaving, getting out of a drama. There's definitely like a party scene here. I don't know if someone's trying to offer someone some sort of type of fulfillment. Someone's cousin could be involved. Whatever this is, is very corrupt. These people, there could be a lot of partying or something here. Someone here could have red or molly, molly, a mullet, red or multicolored hair. That's trying to control the situation. It could have to do with where you live. There could also be someone here with blonde or white hair. That's a public figure, potentially. Some sort of conversation. It's like they're trying to involve, trying to, it's some, something about the throat chakra, a conversation. Um, get, telling someone, giving someone guidance, telling someone what to do about an empress energy. It could be, someone definitely has some type of evil intentions here. Something about someone's boundaries. You need to know it's okay. Don't worry about a thing. The, the collective needs to know your ancestors are here. There could be something about bigotry. These are there's lies here in the near future. New lies. New lies started in the fall or they've been waiting these they've cultivated these lies there's more lies here it's just stuck it's a friendship group trying to stop someone from caring for you someone's jealous of how you look and they're trying to slander you and they're they hate some sort of divine connection here this is a fake good person that wants to copy you so this is coming 
very soon. They're going to regret doing this and they're going to be afraid. This could have to do with the news, trades, media, a bully, really big thing. Because whatever this is, is true love. Something is not meant to be messed with here. This person is mentally unstable. Something, it definitely has to do with money. Someone, something to do with someone telling someone what to, to do regarding magic. Someone's career, IJKL, whatever this is, is actually, um, a crime connected to this water sign, this stalker, um, and this gambling sacrifice recklessness, and a player energy that does business. <sighs> yeah, their reputation, the truth, is going to get exposed here. It could have to do with this email. Maybe that's what the Eight of Wands is in the in the um, outcome, or a phone call, or some type of video evidence of something, or someone asked Chat GPT something. Um, there's something about someone cheating, cheating, cheating the justice system somehow, or. Or the justice system seeing that somebody is trying to cheat or trying to dig for dirt on someone or create an unsafe environment for someone. So someone could be tracked um, and they know that, yeah, them, tech, there's like a tech here watching some people who are all part of something here watching a quiet type, listening to someone's phone here or something. They know that they're focused on someone who spends a lot of time alone. There, there could be legal issues here, something to do with law enforcement and someone getting exposed. Yeah, a very, very greedy group here that live in a large house or there's a large house or mansion involved that are jealous of someone that's very unique and very, very strong. Um, so, so we'll leave it there for now. Um, I feel like as we get closer to whatever this is, we'll get more information.